Hi, this is Shane, and welcome back to another episode of Peace of Mind. And as you can see, I sorted out my storage. I cleaned up all the um, chests that were here. So this is just the overflow and the pots as well. Well, that one's empty, but these are just overflow. And the majority of the stuff I put into storage drawers, and it's all connected by the drawer controller. So all I have to do is um, right click on the draw controller and it would put everything away once once it already has a place. If it doesn't have a place then I can assign it a place and also I can lock all the drawers. I can either do them individually by right clicking on them or if I right click on the draw control it will lock all the drawers but I don't want that to happen because I want to put stuff in the empty drawers so um, so yeah so I'm not going to do that but that has kept me busy for a while moving everything around um, I started a farm outside is that everything? I think so, yep yeah. Started a farm outside. Got some more tea uh, tea leaves. I have to share the share the, uh, share the tree soon. But I've been growing Pam stuff out here. Actually, a lot of it looks like it might be fully grown. So I will harvest that later. And I have a little bit of a farm going because we need leather. But the cows are my pearl. All, all the cows are in the corner. As a cow, we had a baby cow. Did he just? Oh, I think he ran off. No, that was the baby cow. And we oh, we have everybody because at one point the babies ran through the gate and I didn't get them back. I must have done. So today what are we going to do? Because I've organized my inventory and I've sorted out my storage which is good. I've started doing some of the quests to tidy up because we've been stuck on this page forever the basics but to do this I need leather I don't have leather. However in under farming and cooking um, is it under farming and cooking? No, I don't think it actually. I don't think it comes under that, but you, there's something called a ground trap in Pam's Harvest Craft, and I can put that down, and I should be able to get some leather. So let's have a look at that. Okay, um, right, so I put in leather, looked at crafting. No, come back, crafting. Oh, here it is, ground trap. So if I put down a grain bait, or a fruit bait, or a veggie bait in the ground trap, I should get leather. It doesn't give me a percentage, so I'm guessing it's equal. Grain bait is grain surrounded by string. We can do that. <coughs> I have got a... Excuse <coughs> me. My throat has been itchy all day. I have a spider web sapling growing, and that gives a string. Um, so we needed, it was three string. What's it called, a ground trap? There you go. Was that it? I think that was it. String, sticks, and a trapdoor. Might as well get these then. Okay. Trapdoor. I don't, I can't remember how you get a trapdoor. Ground trap, trapdoor. 
and are we missing a one of those and we need um grain break grain grain bait it's finally not winter so at least at least the the, the pond isn't frozen over anymore the beets are done uh, potatoes are full grown the thing is with with the garden you don't need to do it very often you just need you know a couple of things that have grown and then you're set really oh we fall okay um string we need more string right let's go get some string before my stuff de oh and it's raining this rain is annoying um let's put you there for a second um now i think you have to put it like in i shouldn't say in the ground of course you put it in the ground but i think it has to be flush all right we'll leave those there and then we'll come back to it and it will catch all kinds of interesting things right veggies oh, oh really veggies before they despawn this is not what i planned to do and it's getting to be sunrise so that means the rain's going to be there forever let's see if we can get upstairs before the sun comes up properly oh no i think we got it stop raining yeah cool I didn't think we'd get there in time, but we did. So we can put the food away. And that. Beetroot, wheat. So the thing is, you don't really eat loads of stuff. So, yeah. But it's nice to have it. A spice leaf. The beetroot seeds can go up. Right, so let's start making stuff. I did do a couple of quests. Um, I did the nether wart, went into the nether, got some nether wart. So you get back 32 of those. Ashen wheat. The mod ashen wheat adds a few new plants that make farming certain items easier while adding some cool new ones this pack disables getting any getting the mod seeds from grass and dungeon chests i've added recipes instead ashen wheat the item the mod is named after is a new crop that can be used to craft a few different items and all ashen items can be used as fuel in the furnace smelting ashen bread will convert it to charcoal while make charcoal making a crop easy to farm fuel source making the crop an easy to farm fuel source craft the seeds using one regular wheat seed and one piece of charcoal os osid root is another great crop that can be used to make ominous glowy lanterns similar to jack-o-lanterns when osid root is melted smelted mm. into calcified ash the ash can be crafted into an easy source of bone meal. Craft the seed by combining a pumpkin seed and soul sand. So one ash, ash and wheat sheaf and one osage, osage root. Okay, um, seeds upstairs. In here, pumpkin seeds. Let's take a pumpkin just in case. And what did it say? 
slash. Alright, so for that we need um oh regular seeds and charcoal. We have regular seeds, charcoal would be downstairs. And the other one was pumpkin and what? Osid osid root. Osset root was pumpkin and something. Pumpkin and soul sand. That is also downstairs. Okay, so soul sand is here. I've forgotten what that was. And that is... Seeds and charcoal. Charcoal is this one. So seeds and charcoal give me that. And pumpkin seeds and soul sand give me that. So those are the two seeds that we need. Do I have, I do have my hoe on me. Let's go outside and plant them. Oh, it's a bit onimous. Onim onimous? That doesn't sound right. Looks strange. Okay, I'm not saying much because, like I said, my throat is a bit, I don't know, it's a bit strange today. Like I've been talking too much, but I haven't. At least I don't think I have. Alright, so we've done that. We'll wait for those to grow. And after that, oh, we'll see in a second. I made the um, extra utilities watering can. And that was basically four pieces of iron and a bowl. Yeah. Iron? No, not iron. Stone, sorry. So it could be stone or granite or polished granite or diorite or polished diorite or andesite. So the stone that nobody loves and a bowl will give you the extra utilities watering can and i made that um claim the loot chest for that i made the hopping bonsai and i showed you how those worked last week but in case you missed it it is basically um a clay pot so you need bricks five bricks i don't want Oh. You need five bricks in a U shape, and that will give you a bonsai pot, and you can grow a tree in that. And then a hopping bonsai pot is when you take a hopper. So you need. Did that go in? Yes, it did. And five bits of iron. Here's your hopper, a regular hopper, put one on top of the other and that gives you a hopping bonsai. And what that does is that it will grow a tree and output the contents into an inventory below. So I've got a spider sap spider web sapling tree, that's a Pam's tree, and that gives me string, uh, spider web saplings, sticks and oak wood. Last week I made a paper bark tree and that gives me paper and sticks, wood, leaves. Also we have 
We had two growing because we needed paper. Um, in this one, I've got gooseberries growing. So lots of gooseberries. And again, with the oak and the sticks and the leaves. And those are the three that I have. So we can claim another hopping bonsai. They're very useful. Growth crystals. I think I looked at this last week and saw that it needed um, a sea lantern and said, well, we're not going to get that. But actually, you can craft rest. There's a crafting recipe for that. I don't have to go and kill anything because, of course, we're playing on peaceful. So, for the growth crystal. Um, what do you need? Oh, we need potions of swiftness. I didn't think about that. I don't... Okay, anyhow. Um, prismarine shards is lapis and sand. Nope. And prismarine crystals is glass and lapis. So if we get... 10 lapis... Five glass and now five sand, five glass, um, sand. Okay. Um, sea lantern. We've made a sea lantern. But then we need potions of swiftness. I have never ever made potions in Minecraft. Cobblestone and a blaze rod. We can do that. Is it cobblestone? Yeah, cobblestone and a blaze rod. So, cobble, that's gravel. Did that give us three cobble? And I did stick the blaze rods in here. And a blaze rod. So, three cobble across the bottom, one on top. That gives us a brewing stand. And let's set it. Let's put it on top of soul sand. Okay, so for a potion of... What do they want? A potion of swiftness? We need sugar. Awkward potions. A water bottle and nether wart. Okay, so let's make some water bottles. How do you make water bottles? I usually just fish them up or something. Is it raining again? Glass bottle. What are we missing? I have glass. Okay. So three glass bot glass bottles. Is that another wart? Yeah. Three glass Oh, they have to be full of water, don't they? Okay, let's go fill them up then. But yeah, I've never never made a potion. Which is strange, but I've never done it. So, this is the first time I'm doing it, and I'm doing it live on camera. Although, I mean, no biggie, but, you know. If I mess up, then you have, you have the right to laugh at me. Okay, um... What do I need to put there? Is that... Blaze powder? I'm guessing. It looks like blaze powder. Ah. 
Okay. I don't know why I've never done it. I've, I've never really needed to, to be honest. Because I don't do potions of anything. And if I have gotten a potion, it's from some kind of mob drop or something. Okay, so we've got awkward potions. And then we need sugar. Okay, um, do I have any sugar downstairs? I doubt. I really need to move that anvil. It's getting on my nerves. There you go. Right, sugar. Sort by name. Okay, put the sugar on top. Is that going to give us three, three potions? I don't know. I've, like I said, never done it. So this is all new to me, all virgin territory. Mm. Okay. Wow. Alright. Does this stack? No. Um, is throw you out. You're expendable. Oh, I'm missing bone blocks. Do I not have any bone blocks? Oh, I don't think I've come across any skeletons in this. Um, hmm. I don't think I have. In my test world, I came across loads. But in this world, I haven't. Right, let's have a look at the map. Change it to daytime. Yeah, it might be hard to see anything that's a bone block, because at the moment it's all um, all white. But it's basically you just want something square. And there were some in the nether, but it's out across the um the lake. Hmm. That's a bit of a Oh, there's one. Alright. Um Okay, well then let's go exploring. That way. 500 blocks that way. Let's go. Is my inventory full? Yes, it is. Let's empty it out first. this bit chunk loaded I think it is let's have a double check here yes it's chunk loaded okay let's go and then what we can do is teleport back because I do have cheats on but just for the interest of time we can walk there walk in the rain and see what splendorous things we can see and then teleport back oh straight into the water um but yeah this is interesting oh it's not that far actually I have yet to see if this stuff is that oh that's just red sand I don't know why the sky turns like this in the in the desert it's really bizarre it's almost like it's night vision 
but it's not night vision. But it's it's really really weird. Okay. Yeah, just jump up. Don't jump on any um cactus. Yep, we got a huge bone block. Oh, is that quicksand? Oh, it had to be quicksand. Oh my god. No, I don't want to... Cancel. And... Uh, oh, there you go. That's why you don't teleport blindly. <laughs> For a minute I thought I was going to die. Um, what did we mine? Sand. Okay. Yeah, you don't teleport blindly because you end up suffocating in a rock. <laughs> but it was either that or life in quicksand. Alright, we got that. You need all the you need all the bone block you can get really. And this bizarre sky, whatever. It's weird. Like I said, it, it's like you it's like you've got um I keep forgetting the sound it's gonna do that. It's like you've got night vision, but it's not night vision. Okay, so... We have that. We have lots of bone block. I'm not even sure how many stacks of it we have. One, two, three, four. No, yep. Yeah. Almost four stacks of bone block. Which is good. This sand is almost as slow as, as um, a soul sand. It's really annoying. Not on the cactus. Avoid the cactus. Cactus is not good for you. Hi bunny rabbit. And then we come back on this side and it's raining and gloomy. Okay, that that was a bit of a weird adventure. Not in the water oh is that oh is that clay? I didn't know we had clay down there. So but not in the water. I knew we were going to get caught in that. I just when I saw it, I knew it, and it's like, yeah. Do I not have a sword on me? Got the frying pan. I don't think that will make any difference, though. No. Well, the frying pan's a little bit faster than the um. The pickaxe. Uh, 
Oh, this is torturous. Torturous. Oh, God. Right. Avoid the cobweb, Shane. Avoid the cobwebs. Uh, where are we? Here we are. Home sweet home. Okay, why did... Oh yes, I was just about to say, why did we want the bone block but to make... Oh, we missed an iron. Did we put away the iron? I think we did. And we have a growth crystal. And it was a lot easier to get that than I thought it would be. So let's take that. Bait and wait. No. So what do we need for bait? It requires under pressure. Okay, the, um, the squeezer, the pressure. Yeah, the presser, but I think that needs the item frames, which is why we needed the the leather thing. Press, presser. Oh no, we need pistons. Right, two redstone, two cobblestone, two redstone, two iron, eight cobblestone, six planks. Mm. Okay, two redstone, two iron, that's gravel, six cobblestone, and eight planks. Okay, am I missing, what am I missing? missing two cobble. I didn't get out enough. Two iron. Have enough. Good, good. And then for the presser, I need six more iron. And that's that. Claim that. Bait and wait. Ground trap. We have a mm. ground trap. Actually, let's go and check our ground trap. Oh, raw turkey, mm. egg. But we've got nothing. Mm. We've got nothing else though. Let's pick that up and see if it's, it's taken that. And we need a water trap. trap. Ah, uh, we need a fishing rod. Okay, we need some more string. Some more sticks. And probably an, another trap door. Okay, let us make a fishing rod. Where's my sticks? Okay, there's a fishing rod. Oh, chest. Why are we missing sticks? Oh, did it put the sticks away? And that, and a water trap. And I know the water trap. I thought there was somebody standing by that door. That was weird. For the water trap, you have to put it under running water. 
but I'm not sure what you would bait it with. Uh, water trap. Oh, fish bait trap. I actually just need a raw fish and string. So we can make that quickly. Put it in. Do I have any fish on me? No. Put it in the water and then next episode we can see what's in it. Put one raw fish in here. Oh, there's my teapot. I was wondering where that was. Um... Okay, let's go put it under the running water. Um, where is the... There's the water trap. Oh, God. I can feel myself trying to pull myself up there. And we want the fish bait. That goes... Right. So we finished that, we claim our loot chest. Right, it's the ap apiary that needs the item frames. Apiary. Yeah, that needs the item frames. And I don't think. So we need three, so that's. We might have enough leather, enough leather for that. We just might. And we need some sticks. Okay, one, two, three. Where's the mm. sticks gone? That's not enough sticks. Mm. We get a stack of sticks. That's two. Three. Uh, put sticks in there and then for the apiary I just need planks do I have no no planks um, I throw you out Got that. Claim 16 honeycomb. And ours, oh, we can't do that now. So we need the honeycomb and oppressor to make honey. And then use the wax comb or honeycomb and oppressor to make press wax. But well, we will have to do that next week. Oh, I didn't we didn't look to see if those things were grown. Oh, the sticks. No, you don't want... No? Okay, let's offload. Um, bone block. Let's put this in here. Are we full? No, here. Right, let's go and see if these things are grown and then we can finish the episode. If not, oh, we should have kept the bone block. Although you can, um... Yeah. Nope. The growth crystal, I can put it there and it will make things grow a lot faster. If I put the growth crystal on top, and then take that out. 
whatever's around it, it will make it grow a whole lot faster. So we should see... Oh, do we need water below it? it suddenly occurred to me. Some of them need water. Um, works the 9 by 9 farm. Checks up to two blocks up or down. Yeah, so these should grow a bit. These should grow faster. So these not ready. Those will be ready for the next episode. So this week we have. Oh, we should before we do that. Before I finish, let's open the loot boxes because you know that's the best part. To see how many more beacons I can accumulate or other useless things that I don't really need. But you know, it might surprise me. I might actually get something decent out of the loot boxes. Were there any more? I don't think there are any more. Let's just double check. No, it was just that. Okay. Biscuit of totality. Yeah, that's good. Quartz, soul sand, and glowstone. That's okay. Enchanted books. Yeah, that's alright. And more biscuits of totality. Well, it's not too, too bad. At least it's not another beacon. We have 32 biscuits of totality, and we shall eat one now. Ooh, rotten heresy and chocolate. I didn't even know I hadn't tasted any. Is that... Infuse and eat a delicious biscuit of totality. Okay. So, right. So we finished this week. We've done a couple more quests in our effort to finish off the early games. Well, not the early game stuff, but some of the easier stuff. So next week, hopefully we will have enough. Well, we're not going to finish that next week unless we have loads of leather but we should be able to finish this off once these cook cook once they grow and then we can see what else we can open up um yeah we can see if we can do some of these little ones get those out the way and start getting into some of the other stuff and that makes no sense i think i probably said stuff way too much but, as I always say, thanks very much for watching. I hope you like what you've seen. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.